Greetings Opal's users. This tutorial will cover the creation of and use of hit lists in Opals. A hit list in Opals is a text file which contains a listing of barcodes you have scanned. Once created and saved, you can load the file into varied processes in Opals. The barcode file can be created by simply plugging your scanner into a netbook or a laptop PC computer and carrying it to your shelves to scan the items into a file. It can also be created by bringing the books to the CERC desk and scanning them into a file there as well. We suggest using Notepad as the preferred tool as it is a simple program that only saves files as .txt. There are no hidden characters and the files created in Notepad work perfectly in Opals. Here is a section from our Opal's help pages that assists in using Notepad as well as Apple Operating System and Chromebook. If you do not use Windows operating systems, these instructions will help a great deal. Our help pages can be found at help.opalsinfo.net and this section is under the Inventory section for future reference. Notepad can be found on a PC under the Windows Accessories. I suggest dragging it out to your desktop for easy access, as well as creating a folder for hit list files. Hit lists can be used for a variety of applications in Opals. Going to the Administration tab and Reports and Tools, we see under the Tools menu options to use hit lists for delete items from a hit list, print barcode and spine labels from a hit list, change item status from a hit list, and export records from a hit list. In addition to these options, hit lists can be used in the global editor as seen here. I will load my hit list into the global editor and add a call number prefix, i.e. the 852 subfield K, to the records in my hit list. Click this phrase, Upload Barcodes from File, to load your hit list and once loaded you will see that the records populate the right side of the screen ready to be processed. I will add a subfield 852K to these records with the phrase graphic novel. In this next example, I will use the hit list to change the status of items in the file. I have just received a new order of items and will need time to get them shelf ready, labels, etc. I will change the status to in processing and then when they are ready to be shelved and all set, I will use the same hit list to change the status to active as the books will be on the shelves ready for loan. the status of these items to in processing as well as a prefix of graphic novel has been added to all records in the file. Here is an example of using a hit list with the featured genre collections tool. I would like to have the items that now have the call number prefix of graphic novel to also have them included in a genre collection. Going to the Home tab, I will choose Featured Genre Collections. Once open, I will click Add New and fill out the form with my initials and the phrase Graphic Novel. Once this is filled out, click the Add Book Resources Group phrase and you will have the option to upload barcodes from a file. I will upload my hit list 
and you will see the screen populate with these items. A few notes on hit lists. Once you have completed a process, you do not need to keep the hit list in your folder any longer. However, if you are doing a global edit, it may be wise to keep the file until your process is finished and you can verify that all went well according to your editing. Or, for inventory, I would suggest keeping the inventory hit list files of scanned barcodes in your folder until you have finished the inventory project and all has been verified. Inventory will be covered in another tutorial. Finally, the items I had in my hit list that were changed to in processing are now shelf ready. I will go back to the tools section and change them from in processing to active as they are ready for circulation and are now on the shelves. I hope this tutorial has been helpful, and for further assistance, please contact our tech support. Thank you, and all the best.